Okay. Hi there, guys. Um, I'm going to show you a quick review of uh, Lovato Super Crema. It's a 80 20 Arabica and Robusta blend. So, the Robusta is used in there to add a little bit of robust flavor and also really gives you that great, delicious crema that you'll get on the coffee. Um, today, I'm using the Breville Duo Temp Pro and also the Smart Grinder Pro. Um, I know a lot of people have this grinder, but there's not really any settings out there that people have suggested. Um, for this grinder. So this is what I'm using. Grind time 16.4 seconds. Shots 2 of course and then grind size 6. Um, I like to use a little bit of a this is around a 16 and a half to 17 gram dose I'm using. I clocked it in once but it wasn't quite. So let's grind that up. And while that's grinding uh, I'm just going to let you guys know that this is, this coffee is um, I'm not going to say it's going to be always a delicious coffee. Um, it's a potential. It has a lot of potential in it, though. Um, this coffee requires a lot of, um, you know, it, it, you have to brew it well, honestly. Um, if you don't brew it well, the Robusta comes out, and those burnt rubber tire flavors, it just comes out, and it does not taste good. So I'm just going to put this down for a second on the tamp and level. One sec. So not too firm of a tamp, but I had to experiment with the dose a little bit. Um, this is a stronger coffee, so I chose to use a little bit of a, a little bit of a lower dose than normal. I generally go for an 18 or 19 gram dose for medium roasts. Um, this, by the way, is a medium roast indeed. So for super automatics, this is perfectly fine. I highly suggest it actually. But when brewed properly, so let's actually brew the shot now, and I'll show you what it's like. We already pre-warmed the machine. It's got around, I think, a six-second pre-infusion. So we'll clock it now. So that is right around 28 seconds for the shot. And as you can see, it's got an absolutely beautiful crema to it. Um, and I will tell you that this coffee is robust. It's got a wonderful flavor, uh, some hints of chocolate and spice in there. And um, it has coffees from South America, India, uh, certainly worth checking out. Uh, overall, I would recommend this to someone who's really big into Italian espresso, um, really loves crema, and uh, doesn't mind a robust flavor, and also is fairly good at brewing espresso or has a quality burr grinder and is you know committed to dialing it in and getting a great shot. Because without that, this espresso will not taste good. If you brew it properly, I guarantee you it'll taste great. Either that or, you know, you can use a uh, pressurized portafilter or a, a basket. Um, you know, it will work, but it won't work quite as well. But uh, it's rich, it's creamy, it's very full-bodied, and it smells delicious. So I'm going to drink up, and um, thanks for watching, guys.